God, this is Reverend Gadi Gadi. This is day two. We are still in St. Thomas, the U.S. Virgin Island. Wonderful place, a beautiful, beautiful island. And um, as I give you part one, and I told you already that I'm in um, the U.S. Virgin Island, St. Thomas. And basically, we are doing the, 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 the March for Hope. Yeah, I'm going to get the street tomorrow and definitely do some 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 wonderful work in the in the streets we're gonna have a trailer as i said to you before we're gonna be um having um hundreds of young people marching we're gonna protest we're gonna sing we're gonna praise we're, go we're really going to just shabbat god we're gonna storm heaven we're gonna fast we're gonna pray we're gonna really ask god to come down and just intervene hallelujah by Julie and, and, and Sonia, they are the promoters, they are the visionary, they are the one that God gave the vision to really do this and I'm just here partnering with them from Jamaica so definitely I flew in to do this with them and it, it, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful event and we're going to see hundreds of young people crying out to God, we're going to see hundreds of young people giving their life to God, I really believe it and I'm just prophesying now that tomorrow when I hit that platform and after I'm finished speaking and make that altar call i'm believing god to see souls come to that altar trust me i'm believing i'm praying for that and i'm really believing i want you to really believe for me that god is going to touch some young people because a lot of this crime and violence that is happening is among the young people they're killing off each other and in jamaica as you know that we used to have children killing off each other because of the gully and the gaza thing and you know young people cutting up stabbing up them one another shooting up them one another over oh, foolishness uh, we have to let our young people realize who they are and who they are because you see they belong to god they do not belong to the devil and what the devil want to do is to just destroy our young people but in the mighty name of jesus we have to rise to the occasion and we have to take back our young people in the name of jesus i mean we can't let, cannot let the devil come in just like that and take our snap our children from under our arm the bible said that we have to we have to run our household we are responsible if a man cannot run his household how can he run the church i mean how can you go out there telling people about her uh, come on your household need to be saved jesus christ need to be the lord of your household but at the same time you can't take control of your own household no it doesn't run like that joshua said as for me and my household we will serve the lord and i'm saying that as well for me and my household i am going to serve the lord we are going to serve yes, the lord reverend Gadi Gadi. you're watching break loose tv march for hope don't move i'm gonna be right back Shot. this is julie mary peter haley from the island of saint thomas virgin islands and you are watching break loose with minister Gadi Gadi. hallelujah i got my t-shirt on it's called march for hope and definitely we are marching for hope we are marching to take back our young people out of the enemy camp let me tell you this the devil is a liar the devil is a liar and he's the father of lies the devil want to to rob us definitely the bible said that he come to kill steal and destroy and what the devil want to do, the devil want to take away our young people. But definitely, in the mighty name of Jesus, we're going to walk into that enemy camp. And we're going to take back what the enemy has stolen from us. We're going to take back our peace. We take back in our joy. We take back in our finances. In the mighty name of Jesus, we're taking back our young children out of the 
arms of the enemy and that's why we are doing this march for march for hope we are marching for hope for a better society for a better tomorrow and we are marching for a better saint thomas a better saint john a better saint croy a better jamaica and we're definitely snatching back our children out of the arms of the enemy i'm telling you i know that a lot of young people are going to give their life to god i'm really believing god to save these young people trust me um we have seen where crime and violence have just been destroying our young people. A lot of them turn to gun, a lot of them turn to sex, a lot of them turn to drugs, and a lot of them have been abused, murder, all sorts of things, ridicule. Oh my God, a lot of them have low self-esteem because um, they were put down by somebody else. Um, a lot of them have um, a spirit of suicide because uh, at one point of their life they were abused and, and all sorts of stuff. But trust me, we know that God God will intervene through us. We are God's hands and feet, so definitely God has to use something, somebody. He can do it all by himself, but what God wants is our obedience. And God wants us to take it, take, take the battle to the forefront. God wants us to go to the forefront of the battle, definitely, and take back what the enemy has stolen from us. So I want you to follow me and break loose TV, Minister Gadi Gadi, Reverend Gadi Gadi, and we're going to be here marching we're going to be preaching i'm the speaker the guest speaker and the guest artist and definitely i, I want I, I can't do it alone definitely i can't do it alone if god if god won't go with me i won't go either because i can't do it in my own strength i need jesus christ so i'm going to ask everyone out there watching by internet watching where wherever you're watching from i'm asking you pray us up it's the march for hope bless god if there are members in your household not saved right now, we're just going to pray and believe God right now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray that you touch everyone household, everyone that is watching this broadcast right now and break loose TV. Father God, we pray that you touch them if they are watching by YouTube or they are watching Facebook, wherever, Twitter, wherever they are watching on the internet right about now. We pray that your power will come through that TV screen right now, through that internet, through that, uh, that, that computer screen right now and touch them in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we are believing that you're going to break them loose right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I put a sooner before you, I put Julie before you, that you'll just continue to use them, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ uh, to, to, to turn this island around where crime and violence is concerned. It's a beautiful place. It does not belong to the devil. U.S. Virgin Islands belong to God. Are we taking it back for God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Uh, so I pray, my Mighty God, that you will intervene right now and just do a mighty work in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. This is Sonia from the island of St. John, U.S. Virgin Island. We'll be right back. Right now, I'm going to um, introduce to you the two wonderful young ladies that God is really using to make this vision come alive, Julie and Sonia. Check this out. Basically, it was my vision. Usually, God gave me visions. And when the Lord gave me vision, I have to be in obedience. So I brought it up to the church committee, and they thought it was a great idea. So I ran with it and asked my dear sister and great friend in the Lord to assist me. And um, it's so amazing how the Holy Spirit is chatty chatty. We, <laughs> act, we both actually came up and mentioned Gotti Gotti. <laughs> that was the first person we thought of bringing. So it wasn't my doing, it wasn't her doing, it was the Lord. It was the Lord's doing and we are believing Him to do great exploit. Yeah, we, we um, when Sister Sonia even came to me with the idea, I, I was, I think the island was waiting for something like this. Um, many people had marches, you know, against the violence and stuff like that. But I don't think they, they've had it in this capacity where um, we did our best to to contact every church, almost every church in every denomination. We didn't care where what denomination it was. And we we really encouraged them to come and participate. So we have um, Gadi Gadi would be our main speaker and we also have pastors that are going to be praying for different sections um, of our island 
and we're going to have different things. We're going to have praise dancing, soloists. Uh, we're going to have young people from organizations at the different high schools. Um, so basically, it's going to be an all-around march, but godly. And that's exactly what we want. And we want the young people to understand that they don't have to go the violent way to sort so, things out. Exactly. Right. So we're hoping and praying that their hearts are touched. And at the end of this march, at the end of the day, they come to know Christ. And that they could see there is a hope. That's right. Hi, this is Reverend Gadi Gadi. And I'm still in the beautiful island. The U.S. Virgin Island. I'm in St. Thomas right about now. Where I am is a place that they call Lookout. Yeah, up in the hills. And you can see actually the whole entire island from where I am. I think you might can see St. John if I try and zoom it in. Yeah, maybe. So right now I'm going to show you the U.S. Virgin Island from a place that they call Lookout. So look, stay tuned, don't move. Bless you. And this is Julie. And, and this, this is March for Hope. I pray you will strengthen me. Jesus, I am committed to love you. Here I am. 